You're watching Dukascopy TV, I'm Elaine Stenson. The Bank of Japan has decided to keep its monetary policy unchanged, citing that the Japanese economy has been recovering moderately. I'm joined on the line now by Lee Hardman from the Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi UFJ in London. The Bank of Japan governor has said that the country was on course to meet the BOJ's 2% inflation target in two years, overcoming a long phase of debilitating deflation. Lee, is this a realistic claim? Uh, well, it's clearly a very ambitious target uh, to attempt to lift inflation back towards 2% uh, on a sustainable basis. Uh, given that we haven't uh, seen that achieved in Japan since the early 1990s, uh, still the BOJ has seen uh, good pro progress made so far towards that target uh, since the implementation of uh, abonomic policies. Uh, the annual rate of US-style core inflation in Japan has moved back into positive territory rising by 0.3% in October. Uh, that was the highest uh, print since August 1998 and highlights to us that uh, underlying inflation pressures are uh, beginning to, to rise. Uh, the Japanese economy expanded uh, very strongly uh, by an average annualized rate of 4% in the first half of this year, uh, which is around four times stronger than its uh, longer run potential growth rate. And that's helped to uh, narrow the output gap in Japan, and that's, that helps to uh, reduce uh, disinflationary pressure in Japan. Okay. However, Sorry. however, we would also note that uh, we, we do think that Japan is, is successfully exiting deflation, uh, but we, we think it will still be difficult to achieve inflation as high as 2% on a sustained basis going forward. Um, the BOJ forecast for inflation and real GDP growth uh, may prove too optimistic in the coming years. Um, obviously, going forward as well, it will be important to see if firms in Japan are willing to, to pass on higher profits to, to workers through uh, higher wages, which we think will uh, be key in determining whether uh, higher inflation is sustained going forward. What kind of impact do you think the planned increase in Japan's sales tax in April will have on the economy? Uh, the sales tax, when it's implemented uh, from April, uh, is expected to uh, bring forward some demand uh, boosting real GDP growth in the, the first quarter of uh, next year. Uh, but that will then be followed by a, a contraction in demand in, in, in the second quarter of next year. Uh, as a result, uh, the quarterly uh, profile of real GDP growth will likely prove uh, quite volatile next year. Uh, the Japanese government uh, has already announced a 5 trillion yen stimulus package to try and help dampen slash sort of offset the, uh, the negative impact of the sales tax hike upon the economy. Uh, the BOJ is, is relatively optimistic that uh, the underlying pace of growth next year will still prove uh, strong, expanding again above potential. Uh, we think again that the real GDP growth may disappoint those uh, expectations, though, uh, modestly. Uh, having said that, though, we do think that the Japanese economy next year will, will benefit from a, a pickup in, in global growth, uh, which will help boost uh, external demand, especially uh, with the yen now significantly weaker, which makes Japan uh, Japan's exports more uh, competitive abroad, uh, and that that will help to to reduce downside uh, risks to growth from from domestic factors such as the uh, the sales tax hike. The dollar hit a fresh five-year high of 104.59 yen on Friday, extending the weak yen trend that has helped Japan's export-reliant economy emerge from stagnation. The widening interest rate gap between Japan and the United States is likely to keep the yen weak against the dollar, some analysts say. Lee, how do you respond to this? Uh, similarly, we continue to uh, expect dollar yen to, to move higher in the year ahead. Uh, moving towards uh, the 110 level. Uh, the initial financial market reaction to the Fed's decision to taper QE and strengthen forward guidance was uh, very favorable for a higher dollar yen, uh, with U.S. yields rising uh, modestly and global investor risk sentiment also improving, which will uh, further encourage the use of the yen as a funding currency of choice amongst investors. Uh, we also anticipate that the monetary policy divergence between the Fed and the BOJ will continue to widen further in 2014 as the Fed ends QE and the BOJ will continue to uh, expand its balance sheet aggressively. We may even see the BOJ uh, step up the pace of its monthly asset purchases uh, from Q2 onwards next year. Uh, so as a result, the, uh, the, the Fed's balance sheet may now peak at around 25% of GDP. Uh, in comparison, the BOJ's balance sheet is set to expand 
uh, towards 60% of GDP by the end of 2014. So from that perspective, the uh, the widening in the BOJ's balance sheet relative to the Fed still, still to us argues in favour of uh, a weak yen relative to, to the dollar going forward. Some are expecting the Bank of Japan to increase its stimulus in the first six months of 2014. How do you think the Fed's success in making the switch to tapering without disrupting markets will impact the Bank of Japan's decision on whether further stimulus will be needed in Japan next year? Well, we think it will likely uh, encourage a weak yen if uh, global financial markets uh, continue to remain more stable, uh, which will help uh, lift inflation and boost uh, economic growth in Japan. Um, so that, from that perspective, it will increase, likely increase the likelihood that the BOJ is satisfied that its current uh, policies are working. So you could say at the margin, uh, it may actually act to reduce the, the likelihood of, the, of further easing uh, from the BOJ uh, in 2014. However, we would, we would still say that we expect domestic factors uh, to still argue in favor of further easing from, from the BOJ next year. Um, those factors include the, the sales tax hike, which potentially will have a, a greater uh, negative impact upon the, the Japanese economy than the BOJ ex- expects, which would uh, perhaps widen further the, the output gap in Japan and uh, increase downside risks to the BOJ's inflation projections. Uh, we also think as well that the government in Japan will likely apply some pressure upon the BOJ next year uh, to try and boost real GDP growth, uh, particularly in the third quarter of next year. Uh, stronger growth in, in Q3, uh, if that was to materialize, would make it more likely that the government will be able to decide to uh, raise the sales tax again in 2015. Uh, so stronger growth uh, would help uh, Long, the longer-term fiscal sustainability picture in Japan, which may argue in favour of, of the BOJ easing policy further to try and achieve that favourable goal. OK, Lee, thanks for joining me on the line today, and that's all we have time for for now. Have a great Christmas and see you back here soon. Bye for now.